New at 5, people who live near the state line can breathe a sigh of relief. As NBC 15's Zach Nugent shows us, a bill addressing ambulance concerns has been signed by the governor and is now officially law. If you recall, this bill was prompted by concerns in southern Lafayette County. And now that it's passed, it means some residents who live near the state line will once again have access to the closest first responders. Good to see you. With a few handshakes and initials by Governor Scott Walker, the Warren Ambulance Service in Warren, Illinois, can once again cross into Wisconsin. It was fast-tracked pretty good, which is unusual for a, a bill in, in uh, in the capital, but um, people understood and they supported it. The issue came up earlier this year when Warren Ambulance was told its small volunteer department could no longer respond to calls in Wisconsin. Warren is within a mile of the Wisconsin border and is the closest ambulance to the South Wayne and Gratiot area. However, in March, the Department of Health Services discovered Warren did not possess the National Registry Certificate. It's required for EMTs in Wisconsin, but not in Illinois. Without Warren in the picture, it meant ambulance wait times drastically increased for some state line residents. It's about saving lives. It should not be what territory or uh, imaginary state line. The newly signed bill, sponsored by Representative Todd Novak, allows agencies to cross into the state without a national registry certificate, as long as it's only for 10 calls or less per year. People understood once we explained the issue that, um, you know, Warren, Illinois is five minutes away from this Gratiot area versus the next ambulance is 30 minutes. This was the first bill that Representative Novak authored himself, and he says he is pleased that not only did it pass, but it moved through with such speed. Reporting at the state capitol, Zach Nugent, NBC 15 News.